Hello, good day everyone. I hope everything is going well with you. And I welcome you back to our subject, Purposive Communication Using English in Multilingual Context. And I hope that you are in a comfortable seat wherever you are watching this pre-recorded video. So in anajit ato mga linyahan, no? So we are done with our unit 1 and unit 2. So we are done with our unit 2 which uh, uh, nag-discuss ta og duha ka lessons. Ang uh, mo ang lesson 1 nga forms of communication and ang lesson 2 mo to ang communication and technology or contact. And for our next discussion, we have our lessons for unit 3 intercultural communication. So this unit is composed of five lessons, and these are the following. Lesson one, communication and globalization. Un uh, lesson two, local and global communication in multicultural settings. Lesson three, varieties and registers of spoken and written language. Lesson four, exploring texts reflecting different cultures. And our last lesson in Unit 3 is all about the coping with challenges of intercultural communication. And to start with our lesson one, let's have first our learning outcomes. First is to demonstrate knowledge about globalization as an economic phenomenon and to demonstrate an understanding of the impact of globalization on communication. And that's our learning outcomes in lesson one, communication and globalization. So let's start. The globalization phenomenon. Globalization and global are terms we often encounter today. And these terms are associated with realities outside the territories of nation states. Kung ato nang bisayaon ang nation state, ang sama na siya. Nation, bansa, state, mo na siya ang estado. <laughs> Mama na siya ha? Again, globalization and global mo na siya to ang gina-encounter nowadays. And also, all countries are engaged in globalization. Because globalization, it is the growth to a global scale, and that is globalization. Again, ha, take note, ibutang sinyo ang notebook na ang globalization is a growth to a global scale. Okay? And, unsa pa? According din hi, ah, all countries daw are engaged in globalization. Nga man, because of this, we need to understand exactly what it is and more importantly, how it impacts communication, how globalization impacts communication. And that is why all countries are engaged in globalization. Next, what is globalization? So globalization, it refers to the reduction and removal of barriers between national borders in order to facilitate the flow of goods, capital, services, and labor. So if we say reduction and removal, reduction, pagbabawas or remove ang mga barrier or hadlang between sa national border. Para kay maka facilitate sila o para diritso or smooth lang ang ilahang implementation or smooth ang ilahang pag deliver sila ang mga capitals, goods and services and of course their labor. And one of the effects of globalization is that ano globalization it promotes and increases interaction between different regions and population around the globe. Mona siya ang uh, one of the effects of globalization. Okay? It increases the interaction between uh, different regions around the globe. Next, we have intercultural communication. Diba? If we say enter, it is between, among, or sa kang isa. Basta mo ano to siya. <laughs> Mona siya ang intercultural communication. So what is intercultural communication? 
It refers to the effective communication between people, workers, clients of different cultural background. So in short, intercultural communication, it is a communication between or among, remember the Junato, between or among people having different linguistics, ethnics, social and professional background. And that is the intercultural communication. So here, what is globalization in a way? It is an article of Alex Gray. Ako lang isulat ang iyahang kaan ha. Ay para, I'm pretty sure magawas ni iyahang name sa ato ang examination. Alex Gray. Ah. Oh. Okay, si Alex Gray ang nagsulat ani nga article. Again, what is globalization anyway by Alex Gray in year 2017. Okay, ang iyang sa iyang title sa iyang article. Okay, that's right. What is globalization anyway? Okay, let's start ato ato ikritik or ato tanawon ang iyang article. How globalization works. In a simple term, globalization is a process by which people and goods move easily across borders. And globalization has brought many benefits to many people, but not every, but not to everyone. Because globalization is an economic concept, the integration of markets or kanang pagsasama sa mga markets, mga trade and investment with a less barrier para mapadala ang mga products to other nation. And also, globalization refers to a company nga naa siya store sa Philippines, sa Japan, America, or etc. Like for example, the store nga Jollibee or McDo. Diba? Worldwide siya na. Ah, and that is an example of globalization. It also refers to a company nga na store from a different country. Okay? And I hope that's clear. Next, storm in coffee. And for many suppliers and job seekers, not to mention coffee drinkers, this was a good thing. The company was purchasing 247 million kilograms of unroasted coffee from two from 29 countries. So imagine that, huh? 247 million kilograms of unroasted coffee from 29 countries. Nilagi purchase, and through its stores and purchases, it provided jobs and income for hundreds of thousands of people. All over the world, la in pukayo, gisara or napulu lang ang magpalit ug mga in anahay. Imagine na 247 million kilograms of unroasted coffee, huh? Manasya, just imagine. And if you say kanang unroasted coffee beans, beans manasya. So nagpalit sila gilaw ng mga coffee beans from 29 countries. So la in pukayo. Madugay sila kung napulu lang sila kabuo ka trabahante. So that is why that was the good. Thing about this, okay? Na ay ma involve ng mga mga job seekers or mga employees to purchase in anak kadaghan ng kilograms of unroasted coffee. But then, disaster struck. In 2012, Starbucks. I know kabalu mo ang unsa ng Starbucks. Starbucks made headlines after a Reuters investigation showed that the chain had not paid much tax to the UK government, despite having almost a thousand coffee shops in the, in the company and earning millions of pounds in profit there. Imagine, mana siya ang na-investigahan sa Reuters. By the way, ang Reuters, mana siya ang international news organization Owned by Thomson Reuters, okay. Owned by Thomson Reuters. Ang Reuters, wala siya ang international news organization na owned ni Thomson Reuters. And 
the and, and with this kaning storm in coffee um it gives an opportunity especially sa mga mag-harvest og mga unroasted coffee beans imagine na lang ang 1 million kilograms pila ka buok empleyado ang kinahanglan ana in different countries imagine 29 countries okay ana siya next how did globalization happen we might think of globalization as a relatively new phenomenon but it has been around for centuries and one example is the silk road when trade spread rapidly between China and Europe via an overland route, merchants carried goods for trade back and forth, trading silk as well as gems and sp spices, and of course, coffee. So the main reason that have caused globalization is to improve transportation and making global travel easier. Labaw na kung natin mga goods and services nga gina-trade back na to, back and forth. Ano siya? Mugit na ang example nga kaning Silk Road. So, unsan ang Silk Road? I think some of you have an idea about what is Silk Road. So, ang kaning Silk Road, muna siya ang network of trade routes or muna siya agihanan agihanan uh, agihanan ni siya na that is connected from S to West to generate foods, labor, or mga services. Trade back and forth. Mana siya ang way. Kundi bali, agihanan or way na siya ang Silk Road. From the word Silk Road, should food. <laughs> Next, what drives it? O sa daw nakadrive si globalization? Montero? Charot. <laughs> globalization has speeded up enormously over the last half century thanks to great leaps of technology. And, ano? The internet has revolutionized connectivity and communication and helped people share their ideas much more widely. Just as the invention of the printing press did in the 15th century, the advent of email made communication faster than ever. So, ma-insert na po nato din hi uh, si communication and technology. Okay? So, with the help of technology, um, globalization increased massively. And that is why uh, mo na siya ang nakahatag o factor sa globalization. Okay? Next, globalization has speeded up enormously. Um, ah, tapos na pala. Pupamaday na next slide. Okay. Okay. Next is what, what's good about it or what's good about globalization. So globalization has led to many millions of people being lifted out of poverty. For example, when a company like Starbucks buys coffee, from farmers in Rwanda. It is providing a livelihood and a benefit to a community as a whole. A multinational company's presence overseas contributes to, a, to those local economics, local economics, or uh, that's not economics, local economy, because the company will invest in local resources, products, and services, socially responsible corporation, may even invest in medical and educational facilities. So, muna siya kung example ga ina nga, makatabang po ng globalization, especially kung uh, tons of uh, millions of uh, kinahanglan ng kilograms about uh, anang a product. So, makatabang siya sa mga tao nga uh, mga jobless. Kay matagal sila opportunity nga maka, uh, maka work with them. So, that is why muna siya ang uh, uh, advantage or the good about globalization. Diba? Like for example, katong sa Starbucks, diba nang mag-purchase sila ang 200 plus millions of unroasted coffee beans, so it helps to have a job to those jobless person. Next is while some areas have flourished, others have floundered as jobs and commerce 
move elsewhere. Still, companies in the UK, for example, one tribe providing work for hundreds of thousands of people, but when China began producing cheaper steel, steel plants in the UK closed down and thousands of jobs were lost. Although globalization is helping to create more wealth in developing countries, it is not helping to close the gap between the world's poorest and richest nations. Leading to charity Oxfam, says that when corporations such as Starbucks can legally avoid paying tax, the global inequality crisis worsened. So ang steel, muna siya ang uh, mga bakal. Di ba? So, inaanad yun ang business. Dapat, kung if you are planning to have a business, dapat open-minded ka, dapat kabalo ka kung unsa yung mga apps and downs. Dapat kabalo ka kung unsa yung mga gusto si mga mga customers. Dapat you have a specific business job. Kaya for example, mo ito sa UK and the China. So ang mga uh, uh, nangawala ang mga customers sa China kaya mas barato ang sa UK. So dapat aware ka ana-ana or vice versa. Ha? Kay dili man sa tanah tanah panahon nga mag kung mag-business ta or even if you have an hospital or a school, dili na kasagaran nga daghan tay pasyente, kay tuod dito sa Pikas kay barato sila, good, good ang accommodation. Dili sa inyo ha, kay no choice na lang kay puno na dito ang ah, inana na siya dapat open-minded jud mo in terms of businesses or kung mag uh, ma tayo man mo og mga companies or whatever it is. And all and also Oxfam mo ni siya ang Uh, it is formed by the NGOs or non-government. Uh, Pag ito NGO, nakalimutin mo yung koon sa ang NGO. <laughs> or muna siya ang non-government, uh, non non-governmental organization. Again, Oxfam, it's, uh, it is formed by a non-governmental organizations. Their aims was to Um, work together for a greater impact on the international stage to reduce poverty and injustices. Okay? And next, uh, we have kung na good na po'y bad. Okay? Katantanawan. Basically, done wisely in the words of National Monetary Fund or NMF, globalization could lead to unparalleled peace and prosperity done poorly to disaster. So N NMF or National Monetary Fund, it is an organization of 189 countries. I don't know if 189 countries pa bagi hapon until now, working to foster global monetary cooperation. Sila ang secure sa mga financial stability and promote employment and to reduce poverty. So katong giingon nga, And parallel peace and prosperity means wala, uh, walang kapantay na kapayapaan at kasaganaan. Modyo na siya ang bad thing about globalization. Okay? So we know some of the good and the bad about globalization. And to sum it up, to sum it all, globalization is essentially an economic phenomenon. Because it concerned with the we uh, it concerned with the movement of people and products across nation, and because of globalization, people moves across borders. Its effects are, are, or its effect are felt not only in economic terms but in social and cultural aspect as well. Thus, and globalization also impacts communication. Okay, sa ni mo pag Uh, pag trade back and forth if you don't have enough knowledge on different languages or dili ka kabalo mismo on how to communicate with your uh, ka transaction diba that is why globalization impacts communication and that's the end of our lesson one in unit three discussion thank you so much everyone for watching this pre-recorded video see you next time keep safe and god bless us all Bye-bye.